If you are just getting started with Captivate 2017, this tutorial will help you create your first e-learning project. When you launch Captivate, you will be greeted with the welcome screen where you will find the different options to create your project. For your first project, select the blank project which will give you all these options together. After selecting this thumbnail, go to the canvas size and select the project size you wish to have for your project. I'll go with the default option which is 1024 by 627 pixels. With canvas selected, click the create button and this will create a blank Captivate project for you in which you can add objects and interactions. The first step when you are creating your project is to apply a theme. For that, Let's go to theme and then take a look at the different themes that are available. You can see there's very less number of themes available here. If these are not something that you are looking for, you can go to the assets button and then select get free e-learning assets. Then hover over the themes button and click captivate. And here you will find more options for themes. Select the theme that you like and hover over the download button. Then Click on the button which says theme file. This will start downloading the theme for you. Once the download is complete, click close window and then click cancel. Then go back to the themes button and click browse at the bottom left corner. Select the theme that you just downloaded and click open. The new theme will now be applied to your project. This theme consists of many master slides. Let's go to the properties inspector and go to the master slide view. Here you can notice the different types of slides that are already created for this particular theme. Click exit master and then to add new slides, right click the slide thumbnail in the film strip view, go to slides, new slide from and then select the new slide you wish to add here. Replacing these placeholder text captions is very easy. Just double click the text caption, make a selection and then change the text. Similarly, you can make changes to the text in the captions over here. To make other formatting changes, select the text caption and then go to the properties inspector and here you can modify the font, the style and the other properties of this text caption. Similarly, you can add images by going to media and selecting image and then add the image to your project. One more important aspect of e-learning courses is addition of characters. These characters bring the courses to life. In Captivate, you'll find several character sets from which you can choose the character set that suits the story that you are narrating in your course. Then select the character image that you like. Select whether you want a close-up shot, half shot or a full shot and then click OK. The character image is now added to your slide. Here you can resize this character image to fit well on your slide. Also to make other changes to this character image, you can go to the properties inspector and click edit image which will allow you to set the brightness, sharpness, contrast, alpha and other properties for this particular image. I'll cancel this out. Also, if you feel that the character sets that are shipped along with Captivate do not fulfill your requirement, you can go back to get free e-learning assets and go to cut out people. Here, you will find hundreds of different character sets to choose from. Just select the character set that you like and download the pose that you like by hovering over the download button and select the right image size that you require for your course. Once the download is complete, click close window. Along with the cutout images and the themes that we looked at earlier, you can also download scenario templates, interactions and other types of CPTX files from this library and then use them in your courses. Let's go back to my assets and look at the image that we just downloaded. I'll just go to assets and here's the image that we just downloaded. We can select the options that we like and click OK. And that image will also be added to your slide. Similar to these objects, you can also add different types of objects that are available on the toolbar like text captions, text entry boxes. You can add different types of shapes and different types of objects like highlight boxes, rollover objects, mouse object and there are different interactions that you can build using these interactive objects like buttons, click boxes, drag and drop object and learning interactions which are pre-built interactions which you can just plug and play. Along with that, you get an option to add SVGs, images, audio, video, animations and HTML5 animations. 
So go ahead and explore these different options that are available inside Captivate to create your e-learning courses. And don't forget to check out the community where you can interact with the other Captivate users.